Well, Darren's sitting here swatting bugs. I'm planning on what we're going to use on our farm this year in corn to control diseases at tasseling time, or are we even gonna spray? Well, this one's kind of interesting. There are some advanced seed treatments going on different crops. Corn is one of them where we're spending more money on the seed treatments that are going on, especially on the fungicide component, but also insecticide too. Those fungicides help for the very early stage of growth. Yeah. They don't last for very long. I mean, you think about the small amount that's on that seed, it's not translocating through the plant. And really with most of our post-emerge broadleaf sprays, guys aren't putting fungicide in across the country. So we're left with, wow, when do we have a shot to get disease control and when are the plants most susceptible? Unfortunately, it's a real critical time in that plant's growth. It's around tasseling time to silking time where the corn plants are really susceptible to disease. And we've got about the right weather conditions on most summers in the upper Midwest where we're seeing disease pressure in certain hybrids and in certain fields. It isn't really a, a thing where you can say, yeah, everybody's got lots of disease. Everybody's going to see a big benefit. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. I would say every single cornfield in the United States has some degree of disease. Okay, every field. I don't think there's any question about that when you start scouting fields. But well, the here's question the thing. is how much damage is it right, going to do? Because a lot of those diseases, <laughs> like let's say eye spot or northern corn leaf blight, and there are a number of other diseases where anthracnose maybe, you know, it might be a five or 10 bushel yield loss. And you'll see that in a lot of fields around the country. But the thing is, if you're gonna go out there and spend 15 or $20 an acre, you're gonna get a five bushel yield loss times $3 corn, that's $15. Okay, well, I, I mean, I like to gain a little yield too, but the only way I wanna do it is if it's economical to control. So on our farm, we've done a lot of testing over the last few years. We've used half rate, we've used full rate, we've used headline, quilt, stratego, quadrus. And you know what? On our farm, we haven't had any bad leaf diseases. We've really gained on average nothing net. So sure, we've gained a little bit of yield, especially like when we've had some hail, you're much more likely to get disease. We've seen side by side differences, but the yield gain just has not been there. So I'd love to sit here and tell you, oh yeah, let's go out and control every disease there is. But in a lot of cases, it just hasn't been real economical, especially when corn is only $3. If corn was $7, yeah, I'd probably be spraying all my acres, but not at $3, unless I've got a really bad leaf disease like gray leaf spot. <laughs> well, last year, we did have a lot of gray leaf spot, even in the southeastern corner of South Dakota. It was a real bad deal. And where guys had gray leaf spot and they sprayed fungicides, there were some big gains. And some irrigated fields, there were even 30 bushel gains. Well, that's pretty good, especially if you can run 30 more bushels times three bucks. That's almost $100 gain. If you spent 15 or 20 bucks, it doesn't take much to do that kind of math. Here's the other thing, and, it, and I disagree with Brian a little bit on this corn and spraying fungicide late. I think it's very hybrid specific because you look at oh, the yes. ratings from any seed company, I don't care who you're buying your seed corn from, you can look from one hybrid to the next and see drastic differences in disease tolerance to different diseases. One may be stronger on gray leaf spot tolerance, but the other one may really have a weakness to it. So you just don't know without paying a little bit of attention. And what I find is most farmers around the country, when I ask them, oh, how's your hybrid on gray leaf spot? Or how's your hybrid on eye spot? People just don't know. They say, wow, I don't know. I didn't, I guess I didn't ask about that unless they've had a big problem in the past, then they become aware really quick. Yeah. But anyway, on our farm, I really thought we would get more yield gain. We've tried, it's pro it's been probably 30 or 40 different varieties. We've tried this stuff on in the last three years. Maybe we're, we're just picking the right ones, Brian. We're, we're picking well, great hybrids. I don't think so. I, I think <laughs> that a lot of this also has to do with all the other things that we're doing. If you have already done a great job with fertility. You've got perfect weed control. You have everything else in really good shape. Even if you do get a little bit of anthracnose or northern corn leaf blight, it's not that big a deal. But if some of those things are also problems, you've got additional stresses out there, then those diseases can really multiply the problem. I agree completely. The nutrient thing is a real interesting piece. When you do have a nutrient deficiency in your crops, and you can find out right now if you have any of these issues by doing some tissue testing, your plant is a lot more susceptible to disease, just like you. If you go through a few days or a weekend where you aren't getting much sleep and you aren't eating right, chances are you've got a lot better opportunity to get sick coming up after that and your plants are the same way. Okay, so real quickly our summary is if you want to spray, make sure you're doing it at tassel or later, full tassel or later. Across the whole field. Yep. You want to make sure the field is fully tasseled, you maybe have some silks coming out, then you know that you're safe Yeah, if you spray fungicide a little early, it could actually hurt you, so make sure it's fully tasseled and then I would absolutely spray if I'm really concerned about gray leaf spot. If I've got the other diseases, you know, look, if you've got a 
history of success of this on your farm, fine. But in our area, it's probably not that big a deal. We'll spray a little bit of fungicide again this summer just to see if anything changes, but we're certainly not doing it over the whole farm. When you're spraying that late season fungicide, you may throw some insecticide in as well, so you can get a couple things done on the same trip. But if you're waiting that long, you're probably too late to get our Weed of the Week under control. We'll explain coming up next.